This week on Be Your Own Caddy, we're going to talk about distance and how far it is you amateurs hit it. We play most weeks on a Wednesday in the Pro-Ams. We get a range of golfers, some scratch players, some young college kids and some absolute duffers. People will fall into all categories, but the consistent thing that we see as caddies on tour is that the amateur golfer generally doesn't know how far he or she hits the golf ball. What we tend to see, especially from the poorer amateurs, is a story that once in the middle of summer on a baked out golf course, they hit a 9-9 150 yards. So now that they think you can hit a 9-9 150 yards, well, the reality is it's probably more like 130. The better golfers, the scratch guys, they tend to also overestimate how far it is they hit it and try to hit the ball far too hard to get every bit of distance out of there. The more experienced players, your county players, your scratch club champions, will generally know a little bit more, but we still think we can help you too. Obviously on tour, we have access to exceptionally expensive equipment. Things like track men cost as much as cars. Uh, you, the amateur, don't really have access to that, but what you do have access to is a good quality golf driving range throughout the UK. There are plenty of them. Some of them even have this top tracer technology now, so you can actually stand there, go through your bag, and work out exactly how far each club goes. This is something that you all have to do if you want to try and get better at the game and really understand how far it is that you pitch the ball within each individual club. And it's that pitch which is important. As I said earlier, just because you've hit a 9-9 150 yards on a baked out golf course doesn't mean that you actually hit it 150. You'll see us caddies on the pro events, whether you're in the crowd or just watching on TV, we're constantly walking off our golfer's shots. So we'll get to the ball, clean it, and then walk how far it's gone past the flag, how far it, it is short of the flag, and we can ascertain then how far that golf ball is flying in those particular conditions. This is something that most amateur golfers just do not do, but I suppose it's our job as caddies to record this and tell our players and relay the information as to how far that nine iron actually went. So while you might feel that you've been a little bit over the top in pacing off your own ball in your Sunday medal, over time, this will actually really help your game. Uh, you will have an idea exactly how far your clubs are going, exactly how far the ball's going that day, because we're all different. Sometimes you don't have the strength that you had the day before. Sometimes the weather's just completely different. It's a bit cooler, so the ball's not flying as far. But it's important that you're aware of this and that you're able to uh, change whether or not you need to club up or club down a little bit. And once you've gathered the information over a period of weeks in your own general play or even in tournaments, you can really start to get an understanding of how far it is you actually hit the ball. So when you laser that pin, you kind of know how many yards there are over the bunker there, and you know what the best miss is. You can then start to do what Henry and Max have told you about in previous versions of this video, and you can really start to understand how far it is to miss it on the best side, or where the wind direction is for that day, and how strong you think it is, and really how far that shot is actually playing and how much you need to club up or down. To give you guys an idea of how we record this kind of data in our yardage books, here's an example from the SA Open this year at Sun City. It's a third hole, 200 metre par three, quite difficult. It's a big slope from back to front, so it's very important that we do keep the ball under the hole. As you can see here, we've got the yardages to the front and to the pin and the club used. This was the Thursday morning round. It's 194 metres to the flag. It's important that the ball stays under the hole. I paced out that it went 191. Friday afternoon, it's obviously a little bit warmer, the ball's flying a bit further. It was 187 metres to that pin. We know, obviously, the five iron flies 191, so we need to club down and make sure that the ball does stay under that hole. So it's this reference that makes our job easier, and it will make you a better golfer as well.